There are so many motion graphic templates on the market, but which one is actually worth the cost? We're gonna take a look at one of these packs in this video. Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today I'm doing a deep dive into this awesome new graphics pack for Premiere Pro. Now this is not just some ordinary motion graphics template with just 20 titles in it. It has over 2000 different elements in it. I'm talking about lower thirds, big titles, kinetic posters, flat transitions, text messages, glitch overlays, typographies, everything that you could imagine is in this pack. It even has a Siri visualizer that you can use if you for some reason in your video needed to visualize Siri on screen. A lot of really cool glitch elements as well. So what makes this pack special? Well, in this new version of this pack, it comes with a handy extension. So all of the elements are in one place in a panel that you can access with sound effects. And the titles are now responsive. So when you type in new text, it'll respond. Also, it'll respond to different resolutions. So if you drop them into vertical, square, or landscape, it'll adapt as well and the duration is adaptable. So if you change the duration of one of these text elements, it'll move in and out animations as well. Another really cool thing that makes this pack unique is that you buy it once and you can use it forever. There's also versions available for Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Final Cut Pro 10 as well. Also, I'm giving away 10 licenses of this pack. So if you leave a comment below, like this video, and enter at premieregal.com giveaway, I will choose my favorite comment and the person that enters and you guys will get a chance to win. Also, before we jump in, what's really cool about this pack is if you wanna get a taste of it before you purchase it, Motion can put together 80 of his favorite elements and made them free for you. So that link is just below so you can download 80 free motion graphics templates that you can start using today. So what I'm gonna do in this review is talk about A, the licensing, how it works and then talk about how the actual pack works and then kind of some things that I think could use improvement that I hope will just continue to grow inside of this pack going forward. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So first up is the licensing. If you've ever been on Video Hive before, the licensing is kind of confusing. A lot of times it says the regular license can only be used in one video only. So that means if you buy a pack, you can only use it in one end video, which doesn't really work for today's workflow, right? Especially for a huge pack like this, you wanna be using it in multiple videos. So I reached out to Motion Can and I said, hey, what's the deal with the licensing? And he said, well, this is more of a tool than a template. So for larger tools, you only have to buy a regular license once and you can use it in as many videos as you want. And that's perfectly suitable for YouTube and some client videos, the regular license. If you are making content for paid for platforms like Netflix, or TV, you will need to get the extended license. But with any license, you can use it in any number of videos. So hopefully that helps explain it a little bit better so you don't have to be worried about having to buy a new license for every video that you use the elements in. So now let's talk about how it works. In the Premiere Pro and the After Effects version, after you download the pack to your drive, the next step is to install the Motion Pro extension pack. From the product page, you can scroll down and click on the handy extension link to download the Motion Pro extension. From the extension site, you can install it via the Creative Cloud desktop app or download it as a .zxp file. If you go the .zxp route, you'll need to drag the .zxp into a .zxp installer on your computer, and you need to make sure that Premiere Pro is closed while you install. If you want to use the original fonts that come with the original design of all of these Mogarts, Motion Pro included all of the fonts that he used to design all of the titles and all of the elements in the instructions. So you can download all of those before you open up the panel if you want to. It's not necessary, but it's recommended because if you don't, you'll get warnings each time you open up the project that has these elements that fonts are missing. So it's better just to install them. It just takes a few minutes to do. So now it's time to open up Premiere Pro and get it set up. So if you're familiar with extensions, you're gonna go up to Window, Extensions, and open up the Motion Pro extension. From here, you're going to enter in the license code that you got when you purchased the pack, and you'll also need to tell Motion Pro panel where the pack exists on your drive. 
you'll want to select the folder that contains all of the Premiere Pro Mogart files. If you edit on multiple machines or you work with other editors from a server, I recommend keeping the pack on the portable drive or the server that you both edit from. So that way your files will never go offline. And after it's loaded up, you can then open up and preview all of the categories nicely organized right here inside of the panel. Once you find the element that you want, just click on apply and it will immediately drop this Mogart inside of the timeline at the exact point where the playhead is located. And if you have footage in your timeline and you click to apply, it'll automatically apply it to layer two. So that way it won't overwrite the media you already have on video layer one. And then from here, you can customize it. Just select it from the timeline and go to the essential graphics panel. And from here, you'll be able to update the fonts, if there's text inside of this Mogart, the color, the size, etc. The way that this pack works is that it's a bunch of Mogart files inside of this panel that you can just click and apply and it will automatically drop it into your timeline. That's essentially how it works in a nutshell. So one of my favorite features of this pack is that it's auto responsive. Now this should be included in all templates going forward, but I'm sure you guys have purchased templates in the past where you type in text and the elements do not adapt to the new content. It's not responsive. Or let's say you try to use that template in a square format or a vertical and it doesn't respond. So Motion Pro, you spend a lot of time to make sure all of these elements will work A, in any resolution, the shapes will adapt to the new text that you put in and the duration will adapt as well. So let me show you how the text adaptation with the shape works. So let's say you drop in a lower third and you type in something new, you'll see that the shape automatically adapts, which is really awesome. The same, let's say with a text message element, let's say we apply one of the text message mogarts in the timeline, you'll see that the bubbles adapt as well. So all of the text-based mogarts in this pack will automatically adapt if there's shapes behind it that need to adapt. And now for the adaptive resolutions. For example, if I apply this typography mogart to the landscape vertical and square sequences, it'll adapt to work with any size automatically. So you can see all three of them adapt. And same with, let's say one of the glitch overlays, when you drag a glitch overlay into the square, vertical and landscape, it adapts perfectly. You don't have to make any changes at all, which saves you a ton of time. Another thing is the duration. If you adjust the duration, it'll adjust the in and out animations to be in that new duration. So in the timeline, let's say that your animation of this Mogart is seven seconds. If you shorten it to be three seconds, those animations will remain the same. They will just end at three seconds now, which is really cool. I just wanna give a shout out to Motion Bro because the fact that he spent all of this time to over 2000 elements to make them responsive is just amazing. And for selling this for 60 bucks for you to use forever, I mean, it's just a fantastic deal. So I don't normally say this, but this was really, really cool. So that's auto responsiveness. Another thing that I love is the sound effects that are included with some of the Mogarts in this pack. So in the panel, you'll find that there's a category called sound effects where you can browse and you can drop in sound effects to build your sound design separately from your graphic elements. But a few of the graphic categories actually come with the sound effects included. So this includes the glitch elements and the transitions. And this is really great because it'll just make it easier for you to finish your sound design because you don't have to go to another website and search for the sound effect. It just comes with the sound effect. So let me show you how it works. If you hover over any of these elements and preview it, it'll preview the sound with element. But if you don't want the preview sound on, you can always lower it down to zero by clicking on the sound icon and moving the volume down. So I really like this play glitch overlay that includes the time code, and I also like the camera overlay elements. So once I hit apply, you'll see that it will bring over the graphic element and then also an audio layer with the sound effect as well that you can then customize and edit inside of your timeline. Same with the transitions. If you want to apply one of these flat colorful transitions between two clips, you can just click apply and then move it in place to where it needs to be. And then all you need to do is adjust the colors. And now you have a really cool slick transition with a sound effect already chosen for you. So in terms of improvements, I really wish that more of the titles in this pack would include the sound effects also. 
and have the ability to turn off the sound from being imported. So for example, one of these kinetic titles, it would be cool if there was sound included here, but if there was just a button that says, I don't want to import the sound, let's say I have a different sound effect I want to use, or a client wants a specific sound to use, then you should just have that option to turn it off, right? So that's one of the improvements that I would like, but let's go on to some other future suggestions that I have for a motion cam. While this pack is pretty amazing already, one thing that I would like, as well as my assistant editor would like, is the ability to add in master styles that can override the existing fonts because one benefit of using templates is that it's a great starting point, but you wanna customize it to your own branding, right? But to have to do that every time, you know, it eats up time. You wanna save as much time as possible. So if there was a way to create some sort of master style that you can then say, I want this font always on all of the titles, that would be really cool. Right now in Premiere Pro, if you create your own titles from scratch, there's a master style option. So you can set it to, let's say your set font, and you can just click that every time. And that way you don't have to go through the process of selecting the font, adjusting the size, etc., which is really, really useful. So hopefully Motion Can can figure out how to implement that design inside of his After Effects designs, because I'm not sure if After Effects has master styles. It definitely has it in Premiere Pro though but not with these Mogrids yet. So in the meantime, if you find yourself using a bunch of the same Mogrids from this pack over and over again, what you can do is you can drop them into a project sequence and you can customize them all to your branding, the colors, the fonts, etc. And then you can save this project file as like a template project file. You can call it, I don't know, something like graphics pack template customized, something like that. And then when you open up a new project, what you can do is you can import this project file that you created and drop it into uh, your project panel. And then you can take that sequence, open it up, and then you can just copy and paste those already customized Mogrids, if that makes sense. So that's the workaround for having to avoid constantly updating the fonts and the colors for now. So overall, I'm super impressed with this pack. Huge round of applause for Motion Can for making this available to us at a decent price lifetime, which is just fantastic. If you guys have, you know, any suggestions for the pack, anything you'd like to see, just leave a comment below. Motion Can will definitely look at this and see what you guys suggest. It's not just gonna go up into the cloud and never be responded to. It's definitely something he wants to improve upon because he already made all these awesome updates since the last release. So that's all for this video. If it helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So that way you guys are notified when I publish new tutorials on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. And also uh, a couple of you guys asked about my audio setup recently, and I actually have a, a new Deity microphone um, off to the right right now, a little shotgun. Um, before I was using the Rode microphone. Oh, here it is, little Deity right here. You could see it. Um, I just have it on a light stand right now with an adapter to angle it. And it's just being put direct input into my camera right now. Um, and I use Accusonus uh, Audio Repair, which I've linked to below. I put my whole filmmaking kit links down below. The camera that I use, the lens, um, all the hardware that I use. So if you guys are interested in that, remember I put all of the equipment just down below. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.